coming up with that. I'm now being used as a model for young black women to see themselves when they see a superhero. So it was very emotional for me. On top of it looking great, it was just an emotional experience. You know? And I definitely feel like a superhero. Once I start stepping into it, I'm like, okay, come on, Thunder. And it's just like, it inspires me. It does. It really does. So we talked last year, you're, you're just coming into a world, you couldn't really talk about it. Now you have had the reaction. What does it feel like you now season one's done, now you better ready for season two? The reaction? Yeah. From the fans? Yes, yeah, so how you felt about the reaction? Again, just really, really overwhelming. I think one story in particular, I was at a, a comic convention and a young <laughs> A young woman came up to me and she was in tears and she said that after seeing Thunder, she feels normal to be a lesbian. And I was just like, of course I cried, I'm an emotional person. <laughs> and I was just like, wow, to know that I'm being used in such a powerful and dynamic way in something that's really bigger than myself, I'm really grateful that God has chosen me for this opportunity to, to give voice over to who she is. Yeah, so it's, it's a blessing. And after seeing season one and seeing the reaction from season one, it just inspires me to be like, I am ready to give back. When do we start that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it's been a cool, it, it's been a life changing experience, it's been um, an incredible ride so far, we just getting started. So what's the next step for your character now that you know your sister has powers and she's kind of like resenting it a little bit and you're like your character clearly embraced it and stuff. So what's next for her going into season two? I think I think Anissa is, is gonna inspire and encourage her sister to embrace her powers until she does. Because you know, Anissa feels like that this is a God given gift and we are to use it as our purpose and just trying to explain that to her, encourage her that we have to you know, use this gift that we've been given to save our community, to save the people who can't save themselves. So, um, other than that, and this is feeling herself. She's like, okay, I know how this works. I understand how my powers, you know, how I do this. And she's ready to, you know, with the streets. She's always ready to do the streets. No <laughs> matter. So, what was it like doing that first scene when, she, when you're walking through the streets and everyone's turning their heads? You had a little bit of like, whoa, excitement, exhilaration? Yeah, yeah, you know, it's incredible. First, it's always, you know, funny when you're filming in the street and people are like driving by. That's one thing when you're in regular clothes. And then you're in superhero costume and people are stopping and they're like, wait a minute, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. And not knowing what the show, you know, you know, we were still filming before the show had air, so people would be seeing us in the street and they're like, oh my goodness, like, wait, stop. I've been double looking like what is happening? It's just cool knowing like they have no clue what's about to come here. Black superhero picture. It's about to hit TV. So um a blessing. That's what it feels like. And then one more question related to when you when you teamed up with your father for the first, I would say, I would say your first mission. Yeah. You're kind of butting heads. Did you feel a little odd? Changing from the family dynamic, um, and now you're you're actually in your alter egos, actually working together with your father, but you still have that. I am really strong. I can do whatever I want. And but still needing to learn the ropes and understand how it all works. And I think again, once Anissa realized her powers, she's just like, okay, let me use them. But learning when to use them, when not. You know, when, when to, you know, pull out that superhero part because she feels like it's like whenever we see something that's not right, you know, we gotta handle it. And it's about the real thing is that she was with her father, still, you know, acknowledging her powers, but guiding her along the way. And just having that patience to listen because sometimes it's tough when she just wants to be out there. And it's like, wait a minute, I know you want to help, but not every job is out So just understanding that that's a struggle. Yeah. Which show, which show would you like to cross over with on the CW if you had to choose? I would have to say <laughs> Take care of some business because we're pretty occupied where we are and just, there's a lot to be done within the community. So it'd be cool to see one of them come, come, come to us. Come to Greenland. So we, so we know that Grace is coming back next season. What can you talk about that dynamic? What can you tease about? <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying, 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 I'm sa
said I can talk about it. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. The cool thing is, is that the fans have been wanting to see that, and I'd like to um, see more of Alyssa's love life this season because she's just been like so much into her and her her development as a superhero and understanding how her powers work that she's kind of put love on the back burner. And it's like you know, everybody's moving, everybody's in love, and, you know, the balance of, of life and love and career. So. I think you'll see her try to navigate that, that journey. Thank you guys so much. Thank you.